as you begin to relax, just allow your body to become loose and limp, just letting all the surface tension and the cares of the day just melt away. As you begin to drift and float down and down, you allow yourself this time to relax. Set in your intention today to balance your third eye chakra, the brown brow chakra. You can begin to just Focus on your calm, easy breathing. Just letting everything calm down. As I speak to you a little bit about this chakra. And as I do, you allow yourself to notice an increasing relaxation flowing through your core through your limbs, through every part of you, relaxing a little bit more, a little deeper, allowing yourself this time just for you. In Indian spiritual traditions, the third eye refers to the anja or the brow chakra. The third eye refers to the gate that leads to the inner realms and spaces of higher consciousness. In spirituality, the third eye often symbolizes a state of enlightenment. You can allow yourself to relax in whatever position suits you and to begin to concentrate on the third eye chakra and what it stands for, a little above the center of the two eyebrows. And silently, but clearly, begin to chant the sound Aum, A-U-M, Aum. And you can chant that as you wish, off and on throughout this session and all throughout this time. Relaxation of the body should become a little bit naturally. It becomes a natural thing to unwind and let go and relax that body and continue to consider, to reflect on the chakra its meaning to third eye and what it does or how it affects your life. And as I continue speaking, you begin to notice a clean feeling that seems to grow and intensify, a clean feeling within. third eye chakra is recognized in every spiritual tradition. There may be different languages or words associated. They may think of it differently, express it differently, but it is recognized in Taoism, in numerous Chinese religions, in Chan Buddhism, and in these religions, the sixth chakra, Ajna, is considered one of the most important elements of spiritual awakening. Some Christian teachers, Richard Rohr, a spiritual writer and Franciscan friar, is one of many who have also discussed the benefits of third eye meditation. Many theologians, 
have done the same. Rick Strassman, an American clinical associate professor of psychology, of psychiatry at the University of New Mexico School of Medicine, called the third eye the spirit molecule. The third eye the spirit molecule, which was the power he saw in it. And sadly, many people have a closed, calcified third eye, which stops spiritual development. And that is the purpose of this session, to be assured that the third eye is fully opened and seeing. The essential mantra for the third eye chakra is I see. I see. And so Hinduism, Tantra Yoga, Buddhism, even Christianity and all other sorts of traditions consider third eye meditation essential, which reduces stress, anxiety, depression, and negative thoughts. And now as you meditate to open the third eye, there is a direct, a direct link already opening between meditation and the third eye, relaxing the mind, helping you to locate the intuition contained within the third eye. When we open the third eye, we tap into clairvoyance and latent psychic powers. So as you rest and float on waves of your inner mind, you can begin to enter into a deeper and deeper state of peace and calm. Breathe deeply through your nose from the diaphragm. Hold your breath for a moment at the end of your inhales and then exhale through your mouth. Relax your face. Feel the relaxation extending into your body and gradually relax more and more. And now focus your attention between your eyebrows Become aware of the Ajna Chakra opening and feel the gradual release of energy in your pineal gland, the third eye between your eyebrows. Feel it opening and radiating light. Notice the light, which may be an indigo light or a purple light traveling outwards from your Ajna Chakra in 360 degrees. Let go and release any negative or disruptive thoughts. Continue to relax as you allow the sphere of light in your forehead to open, to begin to open like a flower opening like a closed bud beginning to open. Observe the light radiating. Continue to relax your body. And as you do so, be aware of the sensation of your body becoming lighter and lighter as your third eye chakra opens, opening, opening as you continue to relax, ask for help, for divine help to open your chakra. Allow the light to flow through you, out of your Ajna chakra, the light flowing through you. 
ask your higher self to fill you with pure white light. The purity of white light that fills you throughout into every place in and around you. As you rest and relax, ask your higher self if there is a message about you opening your third eye. And listen, listen to any messages that come to you. So listen to your mind. Allow any messages to appear. Ask your divine self if there are other ways to open this chakra. This is important. Your higher self will send you ideas for your continuing development. Listen, listen carefully to those ideas, revelations. Notice if images, thoughts, or visions are arising. Your third eye chakra allows you to see both inside yourself and beyond yourself. When it is balanced, you have awareness and a truthful vision which comes from universal knowing which you are requesting, which you are intentional about right now, receiving, in a state of receiving. What your higher self in your divine self wants you to know, to experience. This part of you is literally called the command center. It's represented by a transparent lotus with two white petals. It may be helpful to visualize this transparent, crystal clear lotus with two white petals in between your eyes. Considered to be the seat of the mind of conscious and unconscious awareness. The Ajna Chakra isn't associated with any element. There is no element associated with it because this chakra is considered beyond the physical elements, beyond. It is held to be the center of intuition, vision, prophecy, imagination, inner knowing, self-assurance. The energetic function of this chakra beginning to open and open and come into balance is to help us to learn to know ourselves emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Notice any images, thoughts, symbols, visions that may be arising. Notice any insights, revelations, or wisdom coming to mind. Listen. Receive. Take your time. Allowing yourself to integrate and absorb the wisdom, the intuitive sources of knowledge that come to you now. And it doesn't matter if it's clear, vivid, or hazy. It doesn't matter if you notice nothing at all. 
because you are sending your clear intention, your purpose out into the universe, into universal love and presence, making your request known, which means that with repetition, with meditation and attention, your third eye chakra opens more and more. And even in your sleep and in your waking moments, you begin to notice an inner knowing, intuition and vision, self-knowing, as the energy of this chakra opens and becomes balanced and you know yourself mentally, spiritually, emotionally. You are now opening up, opening up and exploring the four clairs, clairvoyance, which is to see, clairaudience, which is to hear, clairsentience, which is to feel, and claircognizance, which is to know. Allowing yourself to open up for that chakra to open, to see inside of yourself and beyond yourself, cultivating awareness, intuition, truthful vision, derived from universal knowing. As your third eye chakra opens and opens and balances. It balances the higher and lower selves, trusting inner guidance and access to intuition. Emotionally deals with clarity, brings you clarity on an intuitive level. Now bring your attention to the top of your head. Feel your forehead grow light and your thinking mind fall quiet, even more quiet and calm than it was before. All worries and thoughts fall silently away. Fall silently away as you slowly breathe in through the nose and out through the nostrils, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. As your lungs become filled with air, your body slowly begins to relax, starting from your head all the way to your toes. Feel your lower body grow heavy and your upper body grow light, light as a feather. Feel the freedom and the airflow flowing through your limbs and all the way into your forehead. And feel your forehead grow cool and weightless as you rid yourself of all worry, doubt, and fear and begin to visualize a small purple ball or an indigo color at the center of your forehead. And this is your third eye. As your two normal eyes are closed and sightless, your third eye begins to expand and grow, accumulating more and more energy as it does. See this purple ball or indigo colored ball glowing and growing larger and larger not heavier but larger your third eye is also light as a feather and 
as the purple ball, the indigo, begins to push against the edges of your forehead. Feel it push against them and then burst open. Imagine the purple energy of your third eye flowing freely through your body. As the purple ball pushes and pushes against the edges of your forehead, pushing against them until they burst open. And this amazing purple indigo energy flows freely through your body. Head, throat, chest, belly. Feel them all drenched in this wonderful purple indigo energy. Allowing that to flow within. Feeling the lightness of your third eye. The purple indigo flowing, flowing within and without. As you experience this flowing within you, you say to yourself, with knowingness and conviction, I see my life's purpose clearly. I am connected to the spiritual world. I am open to the truths of the universe. I am connected to the divine within. I can manifest my vision. I trust and follow my intuition. I am connected to my truth path and purpose. I am connected with the wisdom of the universe. I am the source of my truth and my love. I open myself to know my inner guidance and deepest wisdom. I release and forgive the past as I am now using my intuition and insight without fear and without delusion. Now imagine a large indigo five-pointed star between your eyebrows. A large indigo five-pointed star between the eyebrows. Focus all of your attention on the brow area as you breathe in and breathe out, allowing the breath to float upward, filling your head and particularly your brow area. Allow your forehead to relax completely. Allow your eyes to roll up slightly. Feel the breath completely opening up your brow area. As you breathe in the indigo energy and allow the indigo energy to penetrate your entire body, especially your forehead and brow. Imagine right there behind your forehead a large indigo circle a circle and feel it opening your brow chakra as it spins and glows. Imagine that this energy comes up into your forehead and lights up your entire face and, and head, waking up your wise and intellectual brain. And let the healing energy of this indigo star settle in your pituitary gland. Imagine it radiating through your eyes, your sinuses, the base of your skulls, your temporal lobes. Allow these messages to become your reality 
that you think positive thoughts toward yourself. Your mind is expansive and unlimited now. And so you allow yourself a moment of wisdom, of reflection. Are you a person who has wisdom? Are you able to share your wisdom with others? What would it be like for you to persistently tell your truth? And I wonder what life would be like if you had the wisdom to love and accept yourself through even the most difficult challenges in life. Just take a moment to reflect on the wisdom that you've accumulated throughout your life and how you can cultivate even more wisdom. And bring the energy of the five-pointed star to mind again and allow this energy to expand into your entire body. Breathe it in and allow the breath to fill you with a reserve of energy that recharges your brain, stimulates all of your senses, sharpens your mind. And just continue breathing in and out, sending the breath upward to this area, your brow chakra. And feel the mind opening up. Allow the brow chakra to be open, feel it opening, pushing outwards, opening to a higher source of intelligence that is available to you, a place of limitless possibility where you know more is possible than you ever thought before. your higher intelligence, the one that knows and has all the answers to any problem you may think of, and you experience an inner knowing that happens from the silent place inside of you. And you long for more reflective, meditative moments when you are able to touch upon this source of wisdom and higher intelligence. To touch the wisdom, the intelligence out there, the universe and within you that can only be available during quiet times by yourself taking time, allowing time to be one with your higher mind, with your higher source, opening, opening, relaxing, trusting your inner knowingness, chakra balancing, opening up. The more it does, the more you are able to discern what is good for you and what is not. The more you discern the good from the bad, the more you are able to choose the correct path for yourself. Take another long, deep breath. Moving your attention to the center of your forehead. Moving your attention in between the brows, just above the brow line, imagine the indigo blue or purple chakra and the dark indigo glow of the chakra illuminates your mind, spreading to the rest of your body. Imagine an entrance to your mind through the third eye. And you open the door and walk into an empty room and feel free to decorate this room any way that you like. 
this is your room. The entrance to your mind into this room and you can choose your color. Choose your decor and the look and feel and make it suit your tastes exactly so that it becomes your personal sanctuary. Find the most comfortable spot in the room and sit down. And you look out into the world from there and bring into focus the same thoughts, issues, situations, ideas that occupy your day-to-day -day life and silently contemplate them. And now, see your sixth chakra spinning and gaining strength. As it spins faster and faster, the chakra's indigo light washes over you and pervades every cell, every pore in your body, spinning and gaining strength, spinning faster and faster, washing over you, within you, without you, and around you, and in into every cell, every atom, every tissue, every pore of your body as you breathe deeply and feel the energy bursting forth from your third eye as rays of dazzling deep blue light. Rest in this awareness. Reflect in this awareness, receiving intuition, insight, wisdom, the power of your mind, where everything begins in the mind, a good functioning mind, learning new things, discernment, having a good imagination and intuition, cultivating the intuition, the intuitive part of your mind, improving each of these qualities lead to an improved life on every level. As the chakra opens and opens bigger and bigger, healing the mind and the body, the color of indigo spinning within you and around you, Breathe it up into your brow, the energy of the brow chakra now balanced, and you have a clear mind, an abundant energy available to you, where you honor your magnificence and you love yourself. Breathe in the energy of the brow chakra. Imagine that indigo globe in your forehead growing and glowing even brighter now, feeling the energy moving through your body, expanding even more now to fill up the entire room, your room, your inner sanctuary, resting in this awareness, where I see, I see, now seeing so clearly with clarity. I see my life's purpose clearly. I am connected to the spiritual world. I am open to the truths of the universe. I am connected to the divine within. I see all things clearly with clarity. I am open, open to the wisdom within. And I can manifest my vision I trust and allow my intuition. I follow my intuition. I am connected to my true path and purpose. I am connected with the wisdom of the universe. I am the source of my truth and my love. I open myself to know 
my inner guidance and deepest wisdom. I release and forgive the past as I am now using my intuition and insight without fear, without delusion. I am willing to think and feel good about myself. I love and honor myself. I think clearly and objectively. I am wise. I take time to meditate. I pay attention to my intuition. I treat myself with respect and kindness. I often tune in to my inner guidance. Frequently, easily, effortlessly, I tune in to my inner guidance. My mind is a powerful source of knowledge and intuition. And the spinning, glowing ball of indigo and purple spins within you now. The chakra, the sixth chakra, spinning, gaining strength as it spins faster and faster. And the chakra's indigo light washes over you, pervading every cell, every pore in your body filling you completely as you breathe deeply and feel the energy bursting forth from your third eye as rays of dazzling deep blue light resting in this awareness in this special room the room that you have created the room that is your personal sanctuary where you rest and receive, receive the wisdom, your chakra is giving you as it opens fully and completely. And you can express your gratitude for this balancing, opening up you can express your gratitude for this perception and clarity and wisdom and the intuitive part of you opening, growing, cultivating it, allowing it. And you can gently stand up and walk to the door through which you entered the room. And as I come from one to five, one, you simply walk out and close the door as you look back at your inner sanctuary. Two, feeling one with it, knowing that you can come back whenever you want to and bask in this intuitive knowledge and wisdom, connection to spirit, to knowing beyond words. Three, feeling renewed, energized, refreshed, knowing you are balanced and clear, purified. Four, beginning to stretch and move as you prepare to come back to the here and now, and five eyes open all the way back, balanced, renewed, refreshed. <laughs>